Hello guys, it's uh, Bij uh, from uh, Bold Stroke Adventures. Uh, no, I didn't want to leave you mute. Actually, I will uh, talk about uh, a couple of things today. Uh, you would actually never believe what we're going to talk about today. I went for uh, mushroom forging and uh, believe it or not, uh, I'm uh, you know, hiking probably about 10 kilometers now. I'm uh, 10 kilometers in the woods. I never took this trail. This is uh, South Ontario. By the way, it's very windy today. And uh, it was a lot of rain lately, uh, mid-September. I can't fucking believe it. You know what? I did not find one mushroom there. So, if you think we're going to talk about mushrooms today, no, we are not. Uh, like I said, far away in the woods, two and a half hours straight walking. I did not see one soul. <laughs> Nobody knows where I am. I like the, you got adrenaline right there. And uh, you know what? I do have a quite heavy backpack. And I needed a little rest, enjoying my uh, beautiful plums. And I decided while I'm taking a little break, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, to talk about something uh, very different. Something that uh, it's uh, horror, it's uh, terrifying. Nightmare, torture, depends how you look at it, or it could be uh, satisfaction, uh, sense of pride, sense of accomplishment, uh, resilience to extreme level. This is the way I take it, and. Uh, I don't know if you can guess or not, but we're going to be talking about bone-chilling cold showers. Uh, yes, showers. Bone-chilling cold. Well, let me tell you a little story if you go back a little bit. Uh, a while back, uh, my first experience with uh, cold showers, of course, nobody wants them. And personally, I don't know anybody who's taking them uh, daily, like <clears throat> like I do. And uh, my first uh, experience was uh, complete uh, horror. And that was uh, while serving in uh, military. In uh, respect to my audience, uh, it doesn't matter which military. But, uh, you know, it was uh, uh, many, many months of uh, mental and uh, physical harassment and uh, cold showers especially when you do not expect them it's a complete torture it will beat you to the ground eh? to your knees and uh, many many years after you know you leave everything behind and it's kind of uh, you start looking for this uh, adrenaline adventures and uh, you know pushing yourself out of the comfort zone and uh, this is something that crossed my mind and uh, i do taking them i don't even know how long already let's put it this way i don't even remember last time i uh, i uh, i was using warm water so it's years and years and uh, while back, when I was trying to search uh, on uh, YouTube or uh, read articles, I was never really uh, happy or I could not really find one rather that it would be beneficial to me. I just wanted to hear from somebody else how they feel about it. And uh, I could never find one a genuine opinion from somebody who was doing that for many, many, many years. And... Uh, 
you know, maybe somebody uh, else would like to hear that as well. You're gonna hear that from me today. But uh, I could never, like I said, I, I, I was looking for the feedback and I was not satisfying, satisfied with uh, finding the right one. Uh, oh my God, these plums, plums are delicious, huh? beautiful snack. So while I'm snacking, I'm just gonna carry on. Uh, cold showers. So why the heck would you take uh, cold showers? Well, I have no clue. <laughs> you tell me. But uh, it is something that uh, drives me. And uh, there is a lot of health benefits by taking cold showers. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, I'm going to leave that uh, up to you. What you think is the benefit for you. But uh, if there is somebody out there interested uh, to hear what it's all about, uh, I will explain. So, I live in Canada and, uh, you know, in uh, winter it tends to be really cold. Uh, it, beginning, uh, it, it all began as, uh, uh, like I said before, me as a, uh, you know, adventure and adrenaline seeker. Uh, I just wanted to see, you know, if I can still take a cold shower like uh, uh, like in, uh, you know, military time. Uh, do I have a gas to do it? Now, I'm not talking about, you know, you know, going in and out or just to sprinkle a little bit and then I'm talking about going in, taking a cold shower and back out. So, I did it. I did it and then uh, I said to myself, well, you know, it wasn't that bad. It was initially, uh, if I remember correctly, it was through the summer. So it wasn't that bad actually. It was still cold. Uh, I said to myself, well, you know, if I could take that one, I could take another one for sure. So I took another one while I, if I could take uh, those two, I can probably do it seven days through the week. Of course, which I did, I pushed it through the week. That just led to more conclusions. Well, if I can do it for a week, I can probably do it for a month as well. <clears throat> month passed by. Well, now we are one month taking showers. Now summer is slowly going away. We're getting to you know, September. October, November, and uh, let me just grab some drink. I hope you don't mind all these uh, interruptions, but uh, you know, as uh, summer as uh, summer was, uh, you know, uh, getting to the end, and the uh, colder months they were coming. I was actually wondering, like, holy shit, like, do I really want to do this? And uh, I end up uh, doing that uh, for many, many years and uh, never stopped. And uh, what I learned uh, about uh, taking cold showers, it taught me a lot. It uh, will definitely paint a picture about you, who you are. Uh, it is uh, horror, especially when you start taking them from uh, November to uh, November to February, March. Uh, that uh, water is uh, exactly bone chilling cold. We're talking about a couple degrees only, and uh, you know you don't want to go in and you know spend one hour until you collapse. You go in the shower and you spend about you know. Uh, five, uh, ten minutes max, it depends on your tolerance, but uh, it will teach you a lot of, uh, I would say, uh, life lessons. Like I said, I'm not going to elaborate on your uh, uh, health benefits, uh, it all depends what is the benefit for you, but uh, mind benefits are uh, lasting for a lifetime it will uh, teach you 
more than a few different things. It will teach you that uh, everything is possible. It will teach you that you can achieve anything you want. It will teach you that, uh, you see, you cannot buy a resilient mind, but you can uh, train it that way. Uh, pushing yourself uh, out of the comfort zone all the time. Uh, you, you, you can, you can, how you get resilient, uh, going through the hardship, uh, going through the, you know, out of the comfort zone, uh, doing things that are hard, doing things that are difficult. That's how your mind gets uh, resilient. And uh, you will appreciate your mind getting resilient because uh, life is not easy. It's uh, full of obstacles and, uh, you know, it will uh, teach you how to be your own uh, chill leader because most of the time in the life you will have to be your own cheerleader. For me, uh, going to the cold shower, uh, I do not hesitate at all. Uh, or you want to do it or not. Uh, same like quitting uh, drinking, smoking or something else. Or you do it or you don't. So, you know, you just walk in. No, no thinking about uh, should I or not. Uh, you put the fucking cold water on and you just walk in. And once you walk in, you see, you have to train your mind. You, you need to understand uh, what you're going to experience. You need to understand what are you actually doing. Uh, you need to have a mindset that, yes, I am going in. It's going to be super cold, but, you know, I will do it. I will make it through. And then the end, at the end of the shower, I will feel like a champion. And believe me, you will. Um, Why are you going to feel like a champion? Nobody really gives a shit if you're taking a cold shower or not. Nobody cares. But uh, you care. Uh, it matters to you. And, uh, you know, you're going to separate yourself from others. You're going to belong to the very, very small group of people. Very small group of people who are actually uh, capable of doing that. Because uh, it does uh, take uh, guts. It will test you to your uh, very core, uh, who you are. You're going to learn about yourself, who you are. Uh, you're going to learn that, uh, you know, uh, little things in the life uh, matter. Uh, like I said, nobody cares if you're taking a cold shower, but, uh, you know, little things matter. Uh, it, uh, you know, it will, uh, you know, discharge all this uh, negative energy out of you, if you have any. And uh, it will uh, also, you know, encourage you that uh, next day it's going to be better. Uh, you, you will find yourself in, the, in a routine or a, or a mindset where uh, you're going to be 100% in control of your mind at all times. And that's very important in the life. Uh, you're going to learn that uh, you can uh, control your temper if you are showing a temper. I'm not, for example, but if you have a short temper, uh, imagine your mind like a wild horse. You will learn how to, you know, calm them down. Uh, just like pretty much no emotion. You walk in, you take a cold shower. Uh, as the matter of fact, as uh, you take a cold shower, initially, you're gonna feel that zip like a shock, but uh, you know after a minute or so, actually that water is gonna start feeling like it's warm, and it's not; it's cold. But uh, you wanna get to that level. Uh, it will, uh, you know, sometimes when you have a bad day, and uh, you know, last thing you want at the end of the day, uh, you know, 11, 12 o'clock at midnight, uh, taking a cold shower. This is the last thing you want, or you feel sick a little bit, but uh, you know. This is how uh, it will test you to your very core. Do you have a guts? Do you have what it takes to do it? Uh, I started once. I never stopped. Uh, never hesitated for a second. And, uh, you know, uh, I love them. I love them and uh, they will paint about a paint picture about, uh, about who you are. It's not a that big deal. I'm not different than anybody else. Uh, you just have to have that drive, desire and uh, you know you will feel you might not believe that but you will feel like a like a million bucks and what matters is that uh, you know uh, you feel good about it and uh, 
cold uh, cold uh, showers uh, in addition to other benefits uh, it will actually make your skin look uh, much better uh, it will make your uh, hair look much better especially if uh, we're talking about uh, guys uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm still kicking around and you know when I was uh, you know 20 years ago uh, uh, I, I was uh, kind of uh, uh, told that, uh, not told, but, you know, kind of, oh, you know what, I can't believe how you're going to look uh, uh, when you get to do your 40s and, and you know, you're going to be bold and, uh, well, you know what, I'm not. And uh, I'm going to, is it uh, cold showers? I don't know, but uh, I'm going to assume it is. I'm going to take it as a credit. Uh, it will make your hair uh, stronger. Uh, and uh, those roots, they're going to grip uh, stronger and uh, like everything else, uh, like I said, your skin, uh, your uh, heart, uh, it will help you burn a lot of, uh, you know, fat. Uh, how? Well, very simple. If you go for a jog or if you go for a run, uh, you're going to probably, if you're running about, you know, 3-5 kilometers, you will uh, lose about maybe 300 calories. That's how efficient is your body. Well, if you take a cold shower and you are stationary, uh, you will lose about four or maybe 500 calories, which is a lot more than running uh, for a half hour. Uh, why? Well, you know, once you get exposed to this uh, bone chilling cold water, uh, your, your body will have to create uh, heat from somewhere. Uh, you need a heat source. So your brown uh, fat uh, cells that are uh, responsible for uh, generating the heat in the body so will they will instantly kick in and uh, it will uh, start uh, you know melting away and generating uh, heat for your body to heat up uh, i think uh, you know it's not for everybody i'm not telling you to do it i'm just trying to give you some feedback how how it is to do it uh, I did go for a polar bear uh, dip and uh, I was probably one of the last uh, guys uh, in the water coming out and uh, it felt good, it felt good. It doesn't feel like you're doing any harm to your body, actually it just propeller you to another level uh, physically and mentally and uh, you know, uh, it will create another, uh, you, you're gonna become like uh, I don't know if you ever have an opportunity to see uh, what's happening with the steel uh, when uh, steel is getting hardened. Uh, it's uh, heat up to, you know, cherry red uh, color, uh, extreme temperature, and then it's uh, cooled down in a cooling liquid uh, uh, rapidly, uh, which would put uh, steel in uh, tremendous uh, stress, pressure and uh, after all this uh, stress and pressure uh, steel would end up being much uh, much tougher and uh, harder material metal rather uh, same thing is happening with your mind uh, you know uh, you will get uh, uh, let's call that simple way your your skin will get more thicker uh, you will get more uh, resilient you're gonna care less what you're gonna care less about uh, you know things that are not important in the life and uh, you know uh, I think you're gonna feel a lot better about uh, yourself uh, who you are well I still got another four or five kilometers to get out of the woods uh, my snack is done I don't want to spend forever in the forest so I hope uh, you guys uh, enjoy my video uh, please uh, subscribe and if you want to see uh, much more other cool videos uh, just uh, check it out uh, I hope you find something you like it so take care and uh, cheers